So whenever we hear the word mindfulness, we just think freedom. So we're training in how to be free. Yeah? And what we have is a very distracted mind. Yeah? So we, our mind is this like, we want to look at it as if, as, as if our mind is peaceful. Imagine our mind is peaceful and still and quiet and joyful. It's like this. And our mind either leans towards things that we're, we want or it pulls away th from things we don't want. So we call that attachment or aversion. Yeah? These are the like two kind of real keys in, our, in spiritual development or in the psychological development and health development. We either lean in to objects that we like or we pull out. Yeah. And so we start with like external objects. Yeah. So imagine you go past the cake shop. What's it? What's it like? Well, go past the cake shop and it's like this. Um, Unbelievably beautiful chocolate cake. Yeah. You want, you want. Does, what does your mind do? Or maybe you like golf. I don't know. Whatever gets you. And you see golf balls. I mean, have you ever been up with a family of golfers? They talk about golf balls like they're some kind of pearl diamonds. It's like that golf ball. And it's like golf ball. And it's like the golf ball is like this kind of the source of happiness. Isn't it? And it's like. We I mean, dream about the golf and the golf clubs. If I just just get this golf club, and and it's like it just the mind just leans in uncontrollably to objects, yeah. Or we may have a partner that we like, and we meet someone at work and they're attractive, and the mind just leans in, yeah. We can't stop it. It just leans in, yeah, with no control. So what would it be like if you didn't have to lean in? You could just rest. And even um, this incredible chocolate cake that you know will actually make you sick. Yeah, but you can just watch it, go remain at peace, go, I don't need to lean in. What would that be like? Would that be a sense of freedom? If it is a sense of freedom, do you get a sense that actually that attachment to things that you um, makes you like a prisoner to whatever object appears to you that you find attractive and now you're a prisoner, you can't stop thinking about it. Yeah. And the same when someone comes in the room that you don't particularly like or you've got to do something you don't like and there's this pullback, this aversion. And you can't stop thinking about it. You can't stop thinking about what that person said to you. Yeah, is that freedom? Or is freedom the ability to just rest and not, what's the word we're looking for here? React. So we become non-reactionary. This is the key word in mindfulness. We become non-reactionary. Whereas before we just react, we've no choice. Like I'm, like say you're reading a book and someone you really you got a lot of attachment to comes in the room. Suddenly you're disturbed. You're self-conscious. You, you're self-conscious. You can't speak right. So that's not freedom. That's being a prisoner. So it's ability to non-react. Now a lot of people, when maybe when they come to mindfulness, might think. You become like a dull plank of wood. Like I'm not going to react. Yeah, like you've been on your what's it? What does it they take? Ritalin? Is that? You, hmm? Ritalin. Yeah, you've been like anesthetized. It's like I'm not going to react. I'm not something. Yeah, maybe you have that idea. That's the third enemy. Indifference. Oh, 
you just become a kind of aloof, uncaring, desensitized, like desensitized to the yet another school killing. Eh, yeah, whatever. Yeah, just another thing. Yeah. At the, at the moment, we're concentrating on the, the leaning mind in or out in and out. What we want is to be responsive. Now, what would it be like if you didn't have, you didn't have to react to someone who's breaking your boundaries, but you could respond to them appropriately? Yeah, you, you, you would do better. Yeah? If when we get into it, if you actually check, if you're responsible, responding, you have more emotion. Because you have clear emotion. Yeah? Your anger, if it's anger, can be transformed, you say, into wrath. Yeah? That, like an appropriate forceful response to a situation and you start to develop what's called self-love so remember freedom mindfulness is freedom freedom is self-love it's you understand this compassion for yourself the right way to live 